Okay, here we've got all the component parts, uh, obviously our uh, pigments, and we're not going to be using much of these heavier colors. We're definitely going to be doing more of a black layer here to knock this back in certain sections. First off, since this is a uh, cosmic P base, or as uh, someone else noted, a dark nebula, which I really kind of like that. The idea here, now this looks kind of busy. This is what, <laughs> overnight, as this continues to flow, um, different densities of the pigments float to the surface, move around, air bubbles that uh, you saw popping earlier, take that uh, pigment or mica powder and swirl it within, uh, I'd say, you know, the if the pit guard is, say, this thick, then we've put a layer that's about this thick. And within that layer are opacities and transparencies that, uh, as you view this at different angles, you get different effects, or, or depth. You get the perception of depth. <laughs>
Hey, JJ here at Mixed Media Woodworks. Update on the great guitar build-off. We just poured our second coat on our pickguard. It's darkening up nicely. Uh, darkening up. I can say the word up. I really can. While that cures, I'm going to give that 24 hours. I'm going to turn our attention back to the body here because we got to get our contour back before we can do any more flood coats to do finish the finish on this body. So I don't have a belt sander. I really don't even have a decent rasp when it comes to working with acrylic in this thick of a block. So I do have some uh, 100 grit sandpaper on a six inch disc that's mounted to my lathe. And we'll take that at about uh, 600 RPM and experiment. Warning. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 